Nice. Our shadow is like a spouse, and I love the way Marx puts it. Interesting lines from our wordsmith there. Now to our first feature. Austere Imaginary is an exhibition by three artists at the Co Gallery in Lagos. Three female artists, Miriam Moma, Mobalaji Ogunosoye, and Taye Daho, make a large painting come alive at the Co Gallery in Lagos. This exhibition, uh, unlike other exhibitions I've, I've worked on, is not really a narrative-focused exhibition. I'm not really telling a story with the works. I'm really focusing on how these, um, these artists, each of them very different, um, still have this uh, process in common whereby they focus a lot on sort of the, the structure. They have these sculptural elements to their approach to building with paper. And they're all very precise about how they cut the paper and reconstruct pieces to make new holes. Um, so that's sort of what the title means, Austere Imaginary. Um, on the one hand, it's this fantastical sort of feminist Afrofuturism aesthetic, but on the other, it's very, very structured in a way that we normally think of as masculine. Austere Imaginary is the way these women have chosen to coin this group show, which explores the dynamics behind this unique craftsmanship by highlighting what makes each of them stand out. Tai, I've loved forever, Tai Duhor. And when I started the auction, she was one of my first people that we, fe we, we featured. And she's changed, you know, in so many ways and progressed so hugely. And for a couple of years, we didn't hear anything about her. and and. Um, I kind of pushed her into having a show because she's collage as well. And then Bolaji, I, I was, you know, I was, somebody showed me Bolaji and I was astounded by what she does with the way she cuts, you know, and she layers and the three dimensional and, and the people she photographs. And so I was so excited to have this con connection of collage with all three. With Miriam, you know, she does the flowers, she does herself, and she was, you know, she's in fashion, so it's very beautiful. And I think they all complement each other, they all have their strengths, they're all young Nigerian female um, artists, and I'm very honored and excited to have them with me today. This is a unique way of uh, delivery. Um, I like the layering, the collage, and all the processes they went through to bring out these beautiful pieces is quite impressive. You know, in fact, they, they, they give my imagination something to chew on for a long time because um, most of the works are so engaging. And coupled with the fact that, you know, women, they know how to incubate things. So they incubated it so well and brought it out so well. I'm quite impressed. The artists' respective bodies of work represent different approaches and creative statements, with subjects and titles exploring their passion. I think what's most important for Miriam is that she sort of examines the intersections of sexuality, um, reproductive health, um, race and gender in a way that celebrates the female form. That's extremely important to her, is to, to sort of uh, challenge negative stereotypes about the black female body. Um, and all the things that it produces and goes through. So that's, that's Miriam's. And I think for Taye, who's here, she'll tell you a lot about um, her work with hair and identity for black women, um, as well as uh, Balaji when she arrives. I'm very, very 
interested in people, people's faces. Um, when I started the work, I was interested in documenting people around Lagos, um, more particularly women in Lagos as well. Um, but for me, it was like, how do I tell stories about women? In a beautiful way, but like by, but we're also showing how complex we are as human beings. Not just women, like human beings are complex. Like you can see somebody, and there's so much going on beneath the surface. So for me, it was how do I communicate all that complexity? Um, and that's where like the different tones come into play, the different materials come into play. There's some burnt paper in there. I was trying to show this kind of decay. Not necessarily to say like human beings are bad, like it's not literal, it's just to say like there's so many layers that make up a person. Um, and I even have there's there's one of there's some portraits that is the same person but they're two separate portraits and you can't tell. And it's just to say like this listen, like this is a person and then there's so many layers, there's so many complexities that make up a person. The installation behind me is called the Hybrid Series. I started it in 2015 and it's been a growing, growing piece. It's my own way of performing. Um, when I think about the idea of performance and how people perform with the body, I perform with uh, paper and my collage, so, which means that the collage is constantly growing. Um, so I'm constantly adding and adding to, to the installation, so it's growing bigger. So that's the way I'm performing with, with the installation. With the work, I am deal, dealing with women and identity, women's stories. I borrow images, so the women that you see um, on the collages are women, pictures of women that I cut out from hair posters that you find in the local salons. And I'm really interested in those spaces, and I like to imagine that, um, imagine who they are and where they are from, because they are not models. They are not models who pose, who are professional models. They are women who are real women, who probably just went to the salon to get their hair done, and someone takes a picture. And you find them in this constant averted gaze, which is what you find with the other three works I'm showing in the other room. And um, I'm really interested in that gaze of them looking away, but then they have a lot of stories that they have. They've come a long way. They, they are all over the place. Internationally, they are doing so well. They are doing us proud. In fact, there is no line between male and female in art these days because, in fact, their, their, their uniqueness shows in what they are doing because basically art is self-expression. So they always have that um, uh, motherhood, feminine touch in everything they are doing, which is so unique, a man cannot do it. <laughs> Each creative uses detailed cutting and placement to achieve sculptural works that connect the dots between figuration and abstraction.